Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed 1 and what we're looking at today is a Sony SRS LRS100 handy wireless TV speaker. What makes this Bluetooth speaker special? It is specifically aimed at the market of, for people who suffer a degree of hearing loss and have problems hearing the TV clearly. Now, if like me, you suffer from this problem, you know how difficult it can be to watch the uh, TV and you end up turning the uh, volume up sort of quite high, but sometimes you haven't quite got the clarity you need and you still miss important words in a plot of a film, for example, and you fall behind the story. And it's made even worse if you're in a room with normal hearing people because the sound becomes sort of too loud for them. And uh, yeah, it really can be a problem. And this is a good solution. You simply pick up the rechargeable speaker, you can have it across the room, perhaps on the arm of your chair, and then you have your own personal level of volume for the TV, and it's an absolute godsend if you've got hearing issues. And the way it works is that there's a base station that plugs into a wall outlet for a five volt power supply, and then that plugs into the audio port on the back of your TV. Out of the box, Sony provides you with two options. First, there is the preferred digital optical lead, and then there is a 3.5 mini jack lead, which you can use your TV's headphone socket to make the important audio connection. Most modern TVs will have an optical audio out, but some have actually gone over now to digital coax. So in that case, you will have to try and use the 3.5 millimeter sort of headphone jack. Now, when you plug this into your TV, normally it mutes the TV speakers, so you have to go into the sound options, and there should be an option there that allows you to use the headphones and the TV speakers at the same time. Now, unfortunately, my TV is just that little bit old. I didn't have the optical output, and I didn't have that option in the menu, but I did find a little workaround. Now, even the very oldest TVs will have a phono audio out. The idea was that you would plug this into a separate sort of amplifier. And though it's not mentioned anywhere in the uh, Sony instructions, I <laughs> just assume you're going to have a pretty modern TV. You can use these line outs to power the speaker. All you need to do is get the appropriate connection lead, which is a three and a half uh, mini jack there to two phono sockets. Now, even if your TV is perhaps older than that, maybe you've got an old tube TV and it hasn't got the phono outputs, well, you can use a SCART socket adapter, which will pretty much do the same thing. As long as you get an audio lead into the speaker, it will work. Okay, now we've sorted out the connections, let's get down to the nitty gritty and uh, where do we buy this speaker and more importantly how much it does it cost. Now this is probably the only down point I would say against this speaker because it isn't exactly cheap. I paid £154 in the UK on Amazon Prime. Now sometimes if you go to a hearing website for example, you can claim back the VAT here in the UK to bring the cost down but I wasn't able to find this speaker anywhere else but on Amazon. But, you know, price aside, let's move on to the uh, spec. Now, pause these screens to view these in more detail, but I'll go through some of the highlights. The speaker has a built-in lithium-ion battery. That will give you 16 hours on a full charge. It takes three hours to charge from flat. It works on 2.4 gigahertz uh, signals, which is pretty much interference-free. The speaker is stereo. There are two drivers in the unit. They are rated at just two watts when it's in the actual cradle, and that drops down to one watt each when you're using it remotely. The speaker has a wireless range of 30 meters. It also has a built-in microphone because there is an auto volume setting which is supposed to sort of harmonize the sound and balance it when you use it with your TV. The speaker also has a full range of remote control options so you don't need to use your TV's remote control. This works with Sony TVs of course and it does work with a small selection of other brands but it's worth checking that uh, your TV is compatible before you click on the buy it now button. Right, I think it's time we had a closer look at this Sony Handy TV speaker. Now when you first lift it out of the cradle, it has got quite a nice bit of weight to it. It does feel quality, it weighs 400 and sort of 40 grams. The cradle itself, we've got the charging sort of connections there, a little LED on the front to let you know that it's pl plugged in. And on the back here, well, you've got a pairing switch here in case it loses connection with the speaker. There's a reset button, there's the five volt power USB socket. And then you've got the uh, 3.5 audio in jack for your TV's earphone socket. And in finally, the digital optical socket. You know, and I have to say, overall, the uh, product does feel sort of quite nice and premium, and so it should. 
at that quite high purchase price. Now when you look on top of the unit, I mean, it just seems to have loads and loads of buttons, but I mean, don't worry about this because to be honest, all of these buttons other than the volume control are for using the remote control option. This will replace your TV remote control. If you have a Sony TV, these buttons will also look very familiar. Um, hopefully you can program this into your own sort of TV and then you can put your TV remote control aside. To switch the unit on, it's quite good actually. You just sort of press the volume control and it sort of pops up and then the outer sort of circle adjusts the volume. On the front of the unit, the speaker grill is plastic and there's also a hidden little LED light to let you know that it's switched on. It does automatically switch itself off if you don't use it. Right, moving on to the back. Well, the first thing you notice really is the handle. It slides up. It's a very nice sort of filter. I think it's a coated aluminium. It doesn't feel like sort of plastic. So hopefully that won't break anytime soon. And then directly below that, you've got this very, very wide infrared sort of transmitter, which means that you can have this anywhere placed in the room and it will operate your TV's controls. Below that, we have a few switches we have a reset button we also have a control pairing button which hopefully work with your TV's remote control next to that we have an auto volume yeah which kind of works and then we have a voice zoom that works very very well that improves the audio quality behind this little rubberized patch we have another charge socket so you can charge it away from the base and then we have the very all-important headphone socket which means you can sit with this and use headphones to listen to your TV what sets this Sony TV speaker aside from other wireless speakers is that it is sonically tuned to enhance and bring out the human voice. And that is really important if you have hearing issues. And that voice zoom button on the back, well, I found that helped even more. That really did make a difference. I'll try and demonstrate that in an audio test, but this is going to be difficult because my camcorder's built-in microphone will try and counteract it. So look out on the screen for the uh, text when I put the voice zoom on. Uh, just listen very quickly before this, the camera microphone balances things out. And then finally, I will do a music test. The speaker sounds fairly good with music. It has a very nice mid-range. It's tonally balanced. doesn't have a great deal of bass. This isn't the sort of speaker that you sort of take around someone's house for a party. Hello, welcome back to Sunrise. Coming up, we'll be hearing about the huge personal cost people risk if they want to stand as an MP. That's coming up at 9.45. But first, our top story this morning, at least 80,000 people in the UK believe to pose a sexual threat to children online. The Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, is said to be shocked and horrified by the figures, and today he will promise to make it his personal mission to tackle internet paedophiles. Well, also this morning, details have been released of 131 arrests of suspected online child sex offenders. They include teachers, a children's entertainer, and a former police officer. Stop, stop it there before I, before I get hit with a YouTube copyright claim. Um, so to sum up this speaker, I mean, I have to say, I think it's perhaps a little bit too expensive. It, maybe it should be £50 sort of less. But in fairness to Sony, you know, they're not going to sell a whole heap of these. This, this speaker is directly aimed at people with slight hearing difficulties, a bit like sort of myself. And it's not going to be a mass sold product. Unfortunately, when you do have a sort of a disability, you kind of have to accept, I'm not saying it's right, but you have to accept that the these little niche products are going to be charged slightly higher. But you know, having said that, you know, Sony sell this as a handy TV speaker and it works exceptionally well in that format. I mean, there is no delay in the sound from the TV at all. Other like some other wireless headphones that I once bought that created a horrible kind of echoey effect. But you know, you know, this is absolutely fine. It works straight from the box. Okay, I'll bring this one to a close. I'll leave a link to Amazon UK in the description if you're interested in making a purchase of this speaker. And also there will be a couple of pop-ups that appear at the end of the video because I have tested other wireless speakers that uh, you might be more interested in, especially if you're looking for something with a bit more bass that is sort of aimed at music. But as for now, as always, your view time is always most welcome on Fred in the Shed. And I'd like to say cheers. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. And of course, I'll catch you all on the next one. Thank you.